As good evening. Tonight, I want to talk about something um, that a lot of players use. It's the number one excuse or the number one line that players use um, as an excuse to go out and go out with other people or to cheat on whoever they're dating or in a relationship. This happens to a lot of people that are dating somebody or they're not living together and the other person can't check the other person, okay? So the number one line that I've found that a lot of players use um, when they're, or cheaters, if they're in a relationship, is they use the excuse they're going to bed, okay? I want to make you guys aware of this because this is an excuse that a lot of players or cheaters use, okay? Cheaters also use the excuse they say they're always working when they're not, all right? That's, they, they use that excuse of work because they feel that you can't check them when they're at work. But tonight I'm podcasting about, you know, the things that a player will use and the number one lines that they'll use, okay, in order to get out of talking to you, or texting you, or for you to check them. They feel that if they use the excuse they're going to bed, there's really no way you could check them. And I don't want you to think that everybody that tells you that they're going to bed isn't going to bed, okay? It really depends on the circumstances. You have to look at all the factors involved. If you're dating somebody, you guys, and let's say it's a weekend night and they don't have to be up early, okay? I, I also, I've had uh, people that I know that were dating somebody that also had to be up early the next day and they would still use the excuse they're going to bed when they were going out on dates with other people, all right? But I want to make you guys aware that they use this excuse a lot, all right? Now, if any, if you're dating somebody and they're telling you like on a Friday or Saturday night that, you know, oh, they're going to lay down or they're going to go to bed at nine, 10 o'clock. All right. A lot of times if they're a single person, they don't have kids or they don't have anything holding them back and they've worked all week. I could tell you pretty much most of the time they're not going to bed at nine, 10 o'clock or nine o'clock if they use it at nine o'clock. All right. A lot of players, sometimes they go out, the witching hour is about 10, 11 o'clock. A lot of them. All right. All right. So that's when they use that excuse. What they're going to do, you guys, is they're going to try to talk to you on the phone before they do the vanishing act. They're going to talk to you for like maybe 40 minutes, something like that, and try to make you feel confident that they're with you. And then all of a sudden, they're going to cut it short at a certain time. Could be 10 o'clock, could be 11 o'clock, but it'll be a time where they're looking to get ready to go out and they're going to give you an excuse and they're going to tell you, well, I'm really tired now. I'm going to bed. All right. Now, the thing that I want you to look at now, I don't want you to think that everybody that does that is generally not going to bed because there could be a case where they do. That's why you have to look at their whole um, their whole process during the day, all right? Like, for instance, I had a friend who was dating somebody, and he told her, uh, he worked nights, and he told her that he was going to lay down when he got home, and then he contacted her at 7 o'clock. It was a Friday night, right? And she was supposed to talk to him later that night. And he told her he was waking up at 7 o'clock at night because he worked nights and he worked the night um, before that. And then about 10 o'clock, he tells her the same night, he tells her he's going to go to bed. Now, he just told her that he woke up at 7 o'clock that night. And now he's telling her he's going to go to bed at 10 o'clock. All right. That is an example of somebody that is looking to play you, okay? That's what I mean by you have to look at their whole pattern. If this is somebody that, you know, had a good night's rest, all right, there is no reason why they should be going to bed. And usually this is gonna happen on one of the nights that people usually like to go out or party, okay? And that's usually on the weekends, all right? If they pull that on a Friday night at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, even 11 o'clock, a lot, sometimes people go out late, if they say, oh, well, I'm really tired, I'm going to go to bed, okay? Don't believe it. If it, do if it doesn't seem right to you, 
then it's not right. I'm going to tell you, you need to trust your gut. If your gut is telling you something doesn't seem right, then it's not right, okay? And that's why in a lot of cases, when you date somebody that lives far away, they could do these things because they know you can't check them, all right? And it's always good to, you know, if you're in a relationship and you're with somebody that you don't necessarily trust, like they, they you know, when they live 30 minutes away, you could check that person, all right? But when a person lives far, in a lot of cases, and a lot of male friends of mine have said that if they were not living close to somebody that they were in a relationship with, they said most times they would cheat. And why would they cheat? Because they can cheat. Why do a lot of men cheat? It's because they can cheat, okay? Because in a lot of cases, they can't be checked. And in a lot of cases, they use that excuse that they're going to bed. So I just want to make you guys aware of that. You know, if you're dealing with somebody that you're dating and they're telling you on a Friday or Saturday night that they go to bed early or they, you know, they're really tired and you know that this person shouldn't be tired, then in a lot of cases, they're they're lying to you, all right? And you have to be aware of that. They know that if they say that they're going to bed, that you're m- most likely you're not going to call them. You're most likely not going to text them. Or if, if they don't answer your text, they could use the excuse they were sleeping, all right? It's a perfect excuse for cheaters, for players, is the I'm going to bed line, all right? So I just want to make you aware of that. You have to look at the whole pattern of the person and their whole pattern of their day, all right? Now, if it was a case that, you know, they've been up the night before and they didn't get any sleep all day long, and in a very rare instances, they could be telling you the truth. But most of the time, you guys, it's BS, all right? Most of the time when they use that line, I'm really tired. I'm going to bed. It's BS. I had another friend that went through that as well. She was dating a guy. He also worked nights and he told her she was supposed to see him on a Saturday night. He told her that morning he wasn't feeling well. Then he was sleeping all day. He woke up at three o'clock. He spoke to her. Um, and what he did is he said, well, I'll see you tomorrow night. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, you know, I'm going to be in my house. I'm not going anywhere, but I'll see you tomorrow night, which was Sunday night, but she was supposed to see him on Saturday. Then he tells her again, he's going to lay down at five 30. Okay. And he said that, you know, oh, he's just going to shut his eyes. He's going to lay down. Now he, he didn't have any major, sickness going on. All right. He was just like, Oh, I don't feel good. Okay. Um, so what happened was at around eight 30, she didn't hear from him. So she contacted him and he spoke to her and he said, you know, can I call you back? He calls her back. He, he does exactly what a lot of them do. He kept her on the phone for an hour. He spoke to her to try to make her feel confident that he wasn't doing anything. Okay. And then at 10 o'clock, he tells her he's going to bed again, okay? Don't believe it, you guys. Don't believe the nonsense. Hey, everyone. I want to tell you about the Taking Sides, the marriage podcast. On Taking Sides, the marriage podcast, listeners are going to send in their relationship questions, their disputes, and their current disagreements. Host da- Dalen and Ashley Seely, known as the Dashleys, on Facebook and YouTube, they're then going to take sides and offer their opinion on the matter. The goal of this podcast is not to be divisive, but rather to learn to come together, gain your tools for making the relationship work, and learn that the best side to take is the one you come up with together, and to learn to disagree without being disagreeable. Sometimes it helps to know that you're not alone and other couples have experienced the same issues as you do. So listen, you have to go to Taking Sides, the podcast, you guys. If you would like to have your relationship questions answered, you need to send your questions to Taking Sides with the Dashleys at gmail.com to hear the questions answered on the next episode of Taking Sides, 
dash the marriage podcast on Spotify or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. So go to Taking Sides, the Marriage Podcast. All right. This is what they do. All right. And this is how she was able to to see that he was not being truthful with her. Okay. Because he's, you have to, like I said, you have to look at the pattern. He was sleeping all day. Then he went to bed again at 530. Then he's telling her he's going to bed at 1030. All right. It just doesn't sound right. If it doesn't sound right, it's not right. And it was a Saturday night. Okay. He's a single guy. He doesn't have children. He worked all week and there was no way that he was going to bed. All right. So you cannot believe the nonsense that they tell you, all right? You have to read between the lines. So if you're dealing with somebody that's always using that excuse, oh, I'm tired, you know, I'm going to bed. And what they try to do is they try to give like little hints during the day that, you know, they're they're tired or they don't feel good, to, you know, to try to fool you. What they're doing is they're trying to fool you so that later on they could hit you with the bomb and say, I'm going to bed on a Friday or Saturday night at nine, ten o'clock. Now, I want you to know, you know, not everybody that's telling you that is lying, okay? So I'm not sitting here and I'm not telling you guys, oh, you know, uh, everybody that does that is lying. No, there are instances where somebody could be telling you the truth, but what I'm telling you is you have to look at that person's pattern, all right? If that person was getting a lot of sleep and everything and they slept all day, there's no reason why they would be laying down again. It's just not making sense, all right? And they're using the perfect excuse by saying they're going to bed. So don't believe that, all right? And if you could check somebody like that, if they live close to you and you know how to check them, you know... Uh, it's always a good idea to know the kind of person you're dealing with because you, like I said, you don't want to invest your time into somebody, you know, that is lying to you or trying to portray to you that there's something they're not. Okay. Right. We don't want to waste our time with people that are trying to fool us. All right. So you, you can't make excuses for people. You, you can't sit there and, and, and say, well, you know, maybe, maybe that person really was tired or maybe this, that. You have to look at the whole pattern of that person, all right? And you have to trust your gut. If it doesn't feel right, your gut is telling you something, all right? Don't ignore the signs that God is giving you. Remember that, all right? And the reason I'm doing this podcast is because I've seen a lot of, and especially the cases of women to men, okay, this could be with anybody. It could be women to men, men to women, partner to partner. This is the excuse that they use, all right? It's the perfect excuse for you not being able to check them unless you check them another way by, let's say, driving by and seeing if their car is there or some other way, okay? Okay. But this is the number one excuse that they use, players use, so they could get out of either seeing you or having to talk to you or be on the phone when they're not with you, all right? This is an excuse that they use, you know, when they're going to see another option that they have, all right? And when it comes to cheaters, um, cheaters will a lot of times use the excuse they're working. All right. So I'm just going to make you aware of that because that happens all the time. They're always using the excuse that they're working or they have overtime and stuff like that. And the sleep routine is like number one with players. All right. I hope that helps you guys. I'm just trying to give you a couple tips to watch out for, you know, people that could be deceitful and try to fool you so that you don't fall into a pattern and you don't believe a lot of this nonsense they give you. And then later on, after dating this person a couple months or longer, if you don't know what you're dealing with, you say to yourself, wow, I can't believe I was fooled, all right? I can't believe I was fooled. I knew somebody that was dating somebody. Um, Her boyfriend was working nights and he had to be at work at like 1.30 in the morning. And he would tell her he's going to bed at like 9 o'clock. And this was during the week, you guys, all right? So she's saying to himself, well, he's got to lay down, right? He's got to go to work at 1.30 in the morning, right? He's got to get sleep sometimes, right? What he would do 
is he would tell her he's going to sleep and he would go out on other dates, all right? And he would do this during the week. And then when he got together with her, he was falling asleep on the couch. And she's saying to himself, why is he so tired? And he would use the excuse he was tired from working a lot and everything. And it wasn't until she talked to one of his friends that his friends said, you know, he's going out on other dates with other women. All right. And that's when she put it all together. So this is what I'm trying to tell you guys to make you aware of this. All right. When you're dealing with somebody that's a shady person, that's a player. All right. They're going to use the excuse they're going to bed or they're tired. And just be careful. Don't accuse somebody wrongfully unless you, you know, you see a pattern and, you know, you're able to really check it and everything like that. All right. You want, you want to be sure, but Trust your gut, all right, and don't believe everything that somebody tells you, all right? If it doesn't seem right, most likely it's not right. And the other thing is, if they've seen you a lot, okay, they may pull this after they've already seen you. Like, let's say you saw them on a Friday night, and they're supposed to see you also on a Saturday night. Well, they may want to see somebody else on that Saturday night, and that's when they'll pull that. That's when they'll come up with the excuses that either they have to work or or they're tired or they're sick and that they're falling asleep at like 10 o'clock or something like that, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, depending on you know what type of person you're dealing with and when they go out and what they do, all right? But you should be aware of this, all right? Because there's a lot of there's a lot of people or a lot of women that aren't aware of this that they use that excuse. All right. I hope that helps. If you like my podcast, please hit the subscribe button and share and have a great night.